you keep attracting clients that you don't even enjoy working with that you don't have fun working with including this situation the reason you're not attracting the right people is not because people are a certain way you have been attracting clients that do not look like the clients that you want to work with and you don't know why is that this video is for you if you have ever found yourself saying that I never attract the right clients. Somehow, I attract clients who are constantly asking me for refunds or, you know, who are tricking me, who are sort of giving me a, an unpleasant experience, who are putting me through things that I don't want to go through as a coach or as a business owner. And you often find yourself saying that I cannot take down the no refund sign because if I do, people are going to, you know, again, trick me. They're going to ask for multiple refunds and this is how people work and this is how people are. And you keep attracting clients that you don't even enjoy working with, that you don't have fun working with. And it is not the kind of people that you want to work with. If you have been talking like this or you have been attracting clients that do not look like the clients that you want to work with and you don't know why is that and you are blaming other things and other reasons, this video is for you because you need to watch it till the end to know why is this happening and now how can you actually fix this. So the number one thing that I probably say in so many of my videos, most of my videos, is that you've got to take 100% responsibility of your actions and your life, right? So similarly, in this situation as well, you've got to take responsibility for your life and including this situation. The reason you're not attracting the right people is not because people are a certain way, not because some people like to sort of play around with coaches and they ask for multiple refunds or whatever. It is because your energy is out of place. So think about this for a second. You will always keep attracting multiple things no matter like they would be random things not just in a business sense but in any sense the reason why you keep attracting random people or random things is because you haven't put out the energy of what is it that you actually want and when you don't give the universe a clear instruction manual that this is what i'm looking for the universe is going to end up giving you literally anything and everything right so the same goes for your business i want to ask you when was the last time that you took time to sort of map out what does my ideal client look like what are the characteristics and traits just sort of putting that energy out there and even having the clarity around it that is like the literally first step now i'm going to take you through a series of steps that will help you do this and the reason why i sort of even thought of making this video because i feel like time and time and time again i keep getting this question where people tell me that i don't know i'm not attracting the kind of people i want or my clients are this way but i don't want them to be this way and so on and so forth or similarly like one of the questions that popped up was this exactly this so this is what you need to I know first of all identify who your ideal client is now when I say identify I'm not talking about the demographics I'm not talking about the age the country the location the stuff that is taught in the marketing textbooks that's not what I'm talking about we don't even need to know that it's fine what you need to know is what are the characteristics traits of your ideal client okay so make a list defining your ideal client what if you had to pick one client what would they be like? What would their behavior be like? How would they talk to you? What would their payment habits be? Write down every single thing that you can, every single thing. Because what you are doing is not just getting clarity about your ideal client, but in a way you are sort of bringing that energy together into one space and saying, this is what I'm available for. When you are not clear with what you want, you are available for everything. So you get everything, random things. You are getting clear through this process. Write down every single detail. So for example, starting with my business, what I did was I made a list and I wrote everything that I was not ready for. So even that is a very interesting thing to do. Because when you sort of make a list of the things that you don't want, you automatically know the things that you do want. So the things that I did not want was people doing payment glitches with me okay people not paying me on time people who are just like not very nice people they're not kind-hearted they don't have an open mind these are not the kind of people that I want to work with having an understanding of that was essential then I made a list of the characteristics of the kind of people that I wanted to work with I wrote it ideal client and I started to jot down all the points that I wanted 
people who are kind hearted people who pay me in full or people who just pay me on time okay and they love to pay me i have fun working with them i have a beautiful relationship with them i have strong boundaries professional boundaries with them and they respect my boundaries people who don't give me a hard time some people between your coaching calls maybe they would bother you on weekends they would bother you on multiple different occasions when you don't want them to bother because it's not in your professional boundary but they would still do it you don't want to work with people like that so i made a point to list down all these things now the moment i did this i channeled my energy towards that one ideal client and the moment i did that I also told the universe this is what I want this is what I'm ready for okay and when you do that it is so powerful because it is almost as powerful as setting an intention when you set an intention what happens you give a clear signal a clear declaration and ask the universe that this is what I want and the universe delivers you exactly that so doing this will help you channelize your energy towards that one client now i want you to ask yourself are you being your ideal client as well some or the other way you are always somebody's client or customer even if it is the general store next to you kirane ki dukaan even if it is that i want you to ask yourself what is the kind of client and customer that you are because no matter how much clarity you get and how much energy you channel if you are not embodying the kind of person that you want to attract you will never attract them because you will always attract the kind of person that you are being so as a client as a customer do you give people around you a hard time like the vendors around you again the general store next to you the petrol pump just every day day to day as well or the big business clients as well it could be anything do you give them a hard time what is your relationship with them do you make an effort to maintain that relationship do you bargain a lot do you haggle a lot do you negotiate and just like not i'm not saying you should not bargain and negotiate by the way i have covered this topic also on my instagram multiple times i have spoken about the difference between bargaining from a lack mindset and bargaining from an abundant mindset and giving something up from an abundant mindset which typically just means that when you don't feel abundant or something isn't worth your money at that point in time when you give it up or you bargain it's fine because you know it's not worth the money and it's like a clear cut picture that it's not worth the money not your opinion of not worth the money there's a difference again the difference between that and not bargaining when you sort of just feel abundant as especially indians okay we have this personality trait that if something is for 10 rupees we will still sort of go ahead and try to make it for 8 rupees we'll be like no 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 bhai i just give it us for 8 rupees and that is just human nature indian human nature especially but yeah this is what our nature is right and this is this was just an example but you got the point so are you that kind of a customer that kind of a client because if you are you are pretty much bound to attract more clients who are going to treat you the same way who are going to ask for discounts and going to ask you constantly bargain or kind of negotiate with you two years of my business journey i can count the number of people on one hand who try to ask for a discount because my energy tells people that i am not ready and available for that i'm just not available for that i don't do discounts i just don't do concessions and oh fine like if i want to attract someone chalo kam se kam itna to de raha hai at least this person is paying me that much and let me sort of you know make some discount no this is my price this is what i'm worth if you're fine with it it's cool even if you're not that's fine too maybe you're going to find someone else who's going to be better suited for your needs but i am not available to reduce my prices to accommodate you because i know what i am worth and if i do that i will be disrespecting my values my skills and my expertise which i am not willing to do just to have a few extra bucks that is what is the difference between embodying and having clarity with the kind of client that you want to embody and you want to attract and also being them at the same time so if you have not done this entire work around your clients you will constantly find yourself attracting people that you don't want to work with get clear with that make a list get that energy straight and mark those points also as negotiable or non negotiable some points might be negotiable for you some points might just be non negotiable like if this is not there i'm just not going to be working with this person there is a reason we do this entire work around setting standards 
episodes in your life i have seen people in my energy go from attracting random clients or attracting no clients to attracting a consistent stream of clients and the people that they enjoy working with people who love to pay them and that comes with the clarity of this entire thing that i spoke about please 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 get clear with what is it that you want to attract in your life put it out there it is your responsibility there are all sorts of people in this world i'm not saying that there are people you know who are always constantly asking for refunds they're going to be tricking you and doing all sorts of things but you don't have to be a vibrational match for them you can make a choice not to be a vibrational match for them you can be a vibrational match for a different set of people and this is how you become a vibrational match for the kind of clients that you want to work with if this video was helpful please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions again let me know in the comments below don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel i will be putting out more business related content i just realized that i have not been doing that so if you would like to see more content around business as well please let me know about that as well and i'm going to see you in my next video bye